thank God everybody isn't drinking the Kool-Aid. I just held my own town hall meeting in Portland, Oregon, and man, was the crowd fired up for you got it, single payer. We'll give you some exclusive video on that. And while millions of you are struggling to pay and scrape by, get your health care bills paid for, the CEO of United Healthcare, this guy is raking in millions of dollars. Award-winning filmmaker Robert Greenwald will be joining me tonight to blow the top off of this story. President Obama and progressives in Congress are facing some pretty fierce competition to their health care reform efforts. They're up against Republicans, blue dogs, and those right-wingers who have been disrupting town hall meetings across America. But they also have to contend with insurance CEOs who are lobbying hard against any kind of reform. And it's not hard to figure out why. Those CEOs, they are maintaining wildly extravagant lifestyles by denying patients care. The production company, Brave New Films, just put out a new film exposing one of those guys, like United Health care groups Stephen Hemsley. My name is Steve Hemsley and I'm the president and the chief executive of United Health Group. Our mission at United Health Group is to help people live healthier lives. The CEO of United Health Group, Stephen Hemsley, is salary 3.2 million dollars. The incredible gross profits of the private health insurance industry that is at the core of the problem. A few years ago, I think the president of United Healthcare um, made uh, so much money that one in every $700 that was spent in this country on health care went to pay him. Profits these insurance companies are making, folks, absolutely, they are obscene. And in case you're wondering, that guy speaking at the end was your favorite talk show host, Ed. Now, I'd like to remind you about the outcry uh, from the Congress and Americans when those auto industry executives, remember when they flew those corporate jets into Washington when they were looking for a bailout? The media was stuck on that story for two weeks. Those trips cost about 20 grand. You know, to fly that G4, G5 in there from Detroit, $20,000 in gas. Now, Stephen Hemsley makes, get this folks, $102,000 an hour. You wanna know where your premium's going? Where's the outcry? Where's the coverage on that? Joining me now is filmmaker and political activist and director of Brave New Films, Mr. Robert Greenwald. Robert, great to have you back with us tonight. What, Thanks. What motivated you to do this story and go after the executives? greed, obscenity, uh, anger, and real fury among my, my colleagues at Brave New Films who were focused on the fact this is a story, Ed, that's not being told. It's a fundamental issue, and I really think that our country is facing one of those critical moments where we look in the mirror and decide who we are and who we are not. Now, with these men, Hemsley, is making this money by literally, not figuratively, taking it out of your pocket and putting Putting it into his mansion. I don't know how he sleeps at night in any one of his eight or nine or ten or twelve bedrooms, knowing they're being paid for by denying care to you, being denied in care to your family and to your children. That's obscene, and we're proud to be able to bring this to people's attention and say, enough is enough, we're mad as hell. All right, now your documentary basically uh, explains the horror stories that Americans are going through. Here's one example. Of, of what is in your, your short documentary dealing with the health insurance companies. Here it is. He was six months old. We were at the pediatrician and he mentioned that Dylan would probably need the Doc brand helmet to correct the plagiocephaly. And if he didn't wear this helmet, then he could potentially have issues eating. Two months into the treatment, we got the denial letter uh, from United Healthcare saying that they weren't gonna cover it. They viewed the helmet as cosmetic. Now, Mr. Greenwald, are, are you basically saying here that that child and many other Americans could be covered if they weren't uh, taking us to the cleaners in the front office and you're using the example of the CEO? Is that where you're coming from? Oh, look, look, there's no question about it. Think of it if, we, if the fire department or the police department were a for-profit entity and every time they went to a fire or, or arrested somebody, they were profiting from it. Only here it's exactly the opposite. Every single time they deny you, every single time they cut off your insurance, and every single time you say claim rejected, it's going into Stephen Hemsley's pocket to build a bigger and more obscene mansion. Well, let's talk about his 
pocket. In 2008, these are the kind of numbers he had. His compensation was $3.2 million. His unexercised stock options were $744 million. In 2009, this year, the guy's looking at $4 million a week in gross pay. That's $819,000 a day, and that equates to just over $102,000 every hour. Do you think, based on your experience of documentaries, that this kind of testimony and these kind of numbers will get the attention of those in the Congress to realize that we absolutely have to have some kind of regulation? Well, we're counting on people like you, Ed, and your audience to spread the word. If you go to Sick for Profit, you'll see the video, and then send it around. Send it to your congressman. Send it to your church. Send it to voters. Send it to your family. And send it to people who may be disagreeing with us. But damn it, when they see this video, I believe it can bring many people together in saying enough is enough. It's not the free market? You're not willing to say that this is just how the free market works? No, this is the opposite of the free market. This is a manipulated market controlled by a few greedy profiteers who are literally, literally making the money off of the backs of sick people, taking it away from them and saying, you can't have a doctor. Yeah. You can't get that treatment. I need a bigger mansion. Mr. Greenwald, always a pleasure. Great work. Good to have you with us tonight. Thanks so much. Thanks, Ed, for your inspiration on this. You bet.